about this scrap wood. Well, actually, I had a bunch more of it, but I made a couple cutting boards. And what I have here is the cutoffs from those pieces that I made cutting boards with. But there's enough wood here that I think I can make a cheese slicer or two out of it. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to make a cheese slicer. Let's do it. The nice thing about working with cutoffs from a uh, scrap wood uh, cutting board project is that all of this is already milled down and ready to be glued up. So yeah, that's, that's pretty awesome. It's a good start already. I like it. So right off the bat, I'm not going for anything in particular. I'm just trying to glue these up. Uh, in a way that none of the same uh, two pieces of wood are together. I'm just trying to get like dark light, dark light, medium dark light. Just, just kind of having fun with it, winging it. The downfall of having everything ready to go as soon as I started this project is I got lazy and uh, I didn't wipe up any of the excess glue before it dried up. So now I'm going to go ahead and tackle this board with a card scraper to uh, get all them little knobs of glue off of it that way I'm not running a bunch of glue through my planer it, it gets a little difficult and it's a little extra wear and tear on the planer so here I am scraping glue because I was too lazy to do that whenever I glued it up eh, you know lessons learned I feel like I learned this lesson pretty often now it's like every five projects I end up forgetting and I do it again and here I am so I'm over here at the planer trying to uh, run this down to a nice smooth finish on both sides. And i got to run it down pretty thin. But I need to try to maintain three quarters of an inch of thickness. Because later on I'm going to have to put kind of a funky cut in it. And then i got to drill a hole that has to go down through long ways in the middle. So if I go too much thinner than three quarters of an inch, this thing is going to be worthless and uh, junk pretty right away. So uh, yeah, so make sure you don't go thinner than three quarters of an inch and we'll be fine. So now I'm ready to trim the ends and slice and dice this thing. And lucky me, I have enough here to make two of these boards. So, yeah, awesome. Let's get to it. So at this point I need to figure out how to drill a hole down through the top of this thing. And it needs to go straight down the middle of this board. Not in the middle of the board, but like a, like an inch away from the side, or a half inch away from the side. And it, and it needed to go uh, straight down through the board about four or five inches. I think it was five inches. It had to go down through the board. So uh, there was no way I was going to freehand that with the drill and not end up punching out the sides. So I had to build a jig that goes in my drill press that holds it straight up and down so that I can use the drill press to drill this hole all the way down the five inches through the board but it's super simple it's just like an L support that uh, has a perfect 90 degree angle that you just clamp the uh, the board to it and uh, then just clamp it down to the table on the drill press now that we have that ready we take it over to the drill press and and find out that the drill press ain't tall enough for this well, this is awkward. Ugh. Plan B. So plan B ended up with me uh, going with a doweling jig here, which uh, is perfectly good for uh, drilling in some straight holes down into a piece. But the, the thing of it is, is I needed to use pretty much the entire drill bit aside from like a quarter of an inch to be able to grab onto with the drill so the doweling jig kind of robs me of about an inch of that so it only got me say 80 percent of the way there but once the doweling jig got me started i can get that last inch on my own just fine so that's what i'm doing here so cutting the slicer groove is not like super straightforward it's a little bit tricky you kind of have to go where your hole is you need to be able to slice deep enough that you slice through the hole all the way down at the bottom of the hole so you need that depth on that end of your board 
And then the other end of your board, you just want a little bit of a slice into it, but not very much. So you're kind of slicing at an angle. So what I did was I used my cross cut sled and I used uh, one of my uh, setup blocks to find the height that I needed to just barely be putting a groove in on the opposite side of the board. Then from there, it's just a real quick slice of the cut line. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Then I just beat it up with a sander a while, just like you would anything else. Uh, start with coarse and work your way to fine. Uh, get them lines out, get that thing nice and smooth. And just like that, we're ready to coat it with some mineral oil and uh, get this thing finished up and put together. All right, now we're all finished and ready to put this thing together. These kits will come with this uh, bar. The one side's going to be a little bit longer than the other side. The longer side's the side that goes in the hole. And then the hole goes through the crack that we put there. And then this uh, wire has a loop in it. You basically stick that through that crack and get that thing to get that thing to go through the wire. And then from there. All right, so at this point, I'm not saying much, and that's because I just screwed up. You'll see me here flipping this thing around, moving it around, just kind of hoping that what I think happened didn't happen and that everything's going to go together and it's going to be perfect. But in reality, no, I screwed up. I drilled my hole in the wrong side and I cut my slot backwards for the way this kit is. And now I've made it so that my cheese slicer is upside down. So like the only thing I'm saying here in the rest of this part of the video is a couple uh, cuss words because now I need to do this all over again because I totally screwed up. Ugh. All right. Good thing I had enough to make two of these boards because uh, I, I definitely needed an extra one. So yeah, let's go to uh, plan B again, I guess. All right, so I got the second board drilled and sliced the right direction this time, and I got it finished up and ready to put it together again. So instead of starting all over again on the process of putting it together, I'm going to just start where we left off. And uh, yeah, so we'll start from here. Now we're in business. Put that the whole way in there. Turn that. And then uh, there's this hole that the screw goes in, and it goes into a little hole that's in the uh, bar here. So we just put that screw in that locks everything in place. Like so. And voila, we have a cheese slicer. Got that one done right. Whew, and there we have it. A cheese slicer. Haters will say it didn't slice that cheese. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I just, I'm not fancy enough to have cheese that you have to slice. So I have the pre sliced, pre packaged cheese. So this is, this is what you get for the picture. But if you like that project, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you want to see more projects like this, hit the subscribe button and check out some more of my videos on my channel. There should be some popping up on your screen any second now. Feel free to check one of them out too. But until next time, make something awesome.